Well, good morning. It's Sunday morning. Gosh, I look like Chief Gonk today. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sunday morning. Well, it's actually Sunday about midday. I slept in this morning till about, I don't know, half eight. I was really tired. It was a busy day yesterday, really busy. Um, I did various bits of editing uploading we filmed another instant pot video we did sunday chat i edited together my weekly daily vlogs um so it's a lot of computer work and i was well i did get to the point about i don't know i don't know about three o'clock where i thought god i could just have a sleep now but i didn't i pushed through it and you know when we do say that we're busy we we do mean it, you know, it's, um, it's a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. So yeah, so I just had a little tidy round. I put a wash out, done my bedding this morning, but I'm deliberately taking it a little bit easy. I, I still feel a bit bleary eyed, to be honest. Greasy eyed as well. That's the eye cream that I use, it sort of lingers moisturizes the eye area which I don't mind I leave it there for as long as I can before wiping it away and I haven't had a wash or anything yet I'm saving myself for a lovely bath a bath a hair wash a good scrub yeah I do like my weekly baths yeah you heard it here I only have one bath a week the rest of the time I wash strip wash with flannel Pits and bits, as I call it. So, yeah, what's in store for me today for the rest of the day? Paul's at the plot. Uh, so he'll be back soon for lunch. I've got... What else have I got to do? I've got a little bit of footage I want to take off the camera to start this week's vlogs. We had some lovely skies yesterday, which if you follow me on... Well, follow us on Facebook than you'll have seen. I'm obsessed with the sky, I really am. I'm totally obsessed. Uh, sunsets, sunrises, I love them. I absolutely love them. The colours, it's just amazing, isn't it, what the sky can do. It's so changeable. You know, just like the song The Big Sky by Kate Bush, that's what it's all about. The changeable clouds, fascinating to watch. I am hoping that this spring we get some good storms because we haven't had a really good storm for a long time. And I mean thunder and lightning. That's what I mean by a good storm. There were a couple of um, lightning strikes around London the other day, but we didn't. Well, I heard a rumble. I heard a rumble and I said to Paul, was that thunder? And I looked on the map and there had been a strike, but it wasn't really that near to us. So, anywho, I'm waffling now. So, yeah, relaxed morning, do a few things, just light chores, get some clothes ready for work. It's a short week this week. I'm not doing Thursday and Friday this week, so hurrah for that. I look forward to that. Means a little bit more time for other things like video making. If the weather is good, we'll try and get out. But it seems recently that every time we get to a day off, the weather's bad. And I ain't walking in the rain. I'm not doing it. Yes. People that look in the window as they walk past, nosy. I do the same. I do. Um, yeah, I, walking in the rain in the countryside is not my favourite thing. It's muddy, slippery, there's a risk of falling. And of course, when you get to our age, 39, 56, you don't want to be thinking about falling over in case you break something. No, it's not fun. 
not wise. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, weather, that's what I was going to say. There has been a weather warning issued for Monday and Tuesday, I think. Heavy rain nearby. Not sure what that means. If you go to an area nearby, it's going to be heavy rain. But if we stay where we are, we'll be fine. Bizarre. So, yeah. So I think the changeable February continues. Yeah. So, yeah, the point was whether we'll get out for a walk on Thursday or Friday next week, I don't know. Maybe we should think about going to a stately home, visiting Hampton Court again. Maybe, I don't know. And also, very often we get to a day off and it's time to do videoing. And by the time I think, shall I go for a walk? Shall I go out? I can't be asked. That's the problem. Because there's so many other things to do. Anyway, I'm going now. Got shit to do. I'll see you later. Ah, oh, God. not very flattering. No, got to be careful of the angles with filming. I mean, look. No, definitely not. Welcome to Tuesday evening. It's been a cold couple of days. I didn't do a vlog yesterday. I completely forgot. I got caught up in something else. I don't know what. Um, anyway, rewind Monday. How was Monday? Strangely quiet at work. Non-eventful, but cold. The weather has changed. Back to winter. <laughs> We're firmly in the winter grip. Icy grip. No, it really has dropped the temperature. It's a bit of a shock, actually. Uh, having to wrap up again, which is a shame. And we spent quite a lot of energy on uh, Sunday, I think it was. Was it Sunday? Yeah. We got an alert from the energy company saying, have you left something on? We hadn't. We just used a, quite a lot of heating. So there we are. I'm having to put my heater on as well to supplement the warmth. So, yeah. Great. Great. So yeah, Tuesday this morning um, at work was again very quiet, but this afternoon it kind of exploded. <sighs> hey ho, that's the way it goes. Nothing much to report, really. Um, yeah, just work and doing stuff. Yeah, that's it. And like I say, the weather's very wintry feeling. I just hope it doesn't affect all the budding blossom trees, you know, and kill off the new buds, because that can sometimes happen, which is a bit of a disappointment for spring. But hey, what can you do? Can't wrap all the trees in plastic, can you? No, no, definitely not. Anywho, that's it, really. Just chilling out, Paul's having a bath. Then we'll be eating, maybe play a game of cards. Yeah, that's it. But I'm very much looking forward to finishing work tomorrow, having Thursday and Friday off. <laughs> Lovely. Not sure how the time is going to be spent, but... We'll see. Probably do my housework on Thursday. Get all my washing up to date. Um, it'll be filming probably on Friday. Maybe a trip out if the weather's nice. Um, and then hopefully sort of having some relaxation time. At the weekend. Yeah. There you go. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Hurrah. Final day at work. I don't know why I'm in such a celebratory mood. 
because I kind of just swap one job for another, you know. But I'm at home doing my second job, which is this one, as a vlogger. <laughs> yeah. I think at work they don't seem to regard this as another job. I think it's just something I do in my spare time. And I've tried to explain to them, well, no, it's not. We have a community of, you know, 7,000 subscribers now. Hurrah, we've hit that number this morning. It'll probably go down again, <laughs> as it does. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we, you know, we have a community and we have a responsibility to you to provide content because I know for a lot of you this is a, a source of entertainment, it's a source of pleasure, you know, we do feel that sense of responsibility. I think my work don't fully understand that. Um, yeah, that's it really. So yeah, final day of work for the week, hurrah, I've just put a wash in ready for switching it on at lunchtime so it'll be ready when I get home tonight so I can put it out. Um, yeah, Paul's gone off to Cranley to work for the day and we'll be doing so tomorrow as well. So I'm on dinner duty tonight and tomorrow. So I'll be cooking up a storm, I'm sure. I'll be putting something in the microwave. No, I might do a stew, actually, because that vegetable stew that I did last week was absolutely gorgeous. It was. It's very tasty. Might even show you how I do it, if the mood takes me. So, yeah, I've just got time to have another cup of tea because I'm kind of early this morning. I'm not sure why. I think it's about 25 past eight. I don't need to leave till quarter to nine. I know I'm luckier. Six minute walk. I've timed it. So, yeah, there we are. I'll see you later. Bye. Wow, zippity doodle. Zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Yes, I finished work for the week. It's Wednesday evening. I've just, well, I've just got in about 15 minutes ago. Just put the washing out from the machine. So, yeah, that's it now. I'm free. Free as a bird. Not really. I'm tied. Tied to this. Tied to vlogging. Tied to providing content for you. <sighs> yeah, no, I don't mind. Quite happy. So I'm just going to have a few minutes, sit down, catch up with me socials as one does. And then I'm going to look at something for dinner. Something unctuous, delicious, warming, different to what we normally have. That's what I'm aiming for. Let's see what I can come up with. <sighs> yeah. So today at work has been fairly busy this afternoon. Had a few maintenance jobs I had to call in for the building. I'll take the council about three weeks to respond. Normally the case. Oh, it's ridiculous. Things take forever to get done. But hey ho, that's what happens when you work for the local authority. They don't have the money to be super fast responders. Yeah, I think our council tax is going up as well. Hey ho, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Nothing else to report at this moment in time. I'll see you later. Hello again. I'm in the middle of cooking. I just came in the other room to pick my phone up. When we talk about rustic cooking, this is what we mean. Let me swing you round. So I'm in the kitchen. As you can see, I've been chopping and peeling as the carnage, but this is the result. So I've literally roughly chopped Red onion, a white onion, a yellow pepper, a red pepper, carrots, parsnips and swede. A load of celery. And I'm literally going to bung it all in. I'm going to start by heating the celery through with the onions, 
getting that going. And I'm going to add all the veggies, let it all warm up. I'm going to add some stock flavoured with bouillon powder and marmite, uh, yeast extract. Just till it just covers it all. And then I'm going to let it cook. And then I'm going to add a bowl of frozen veg, beans and peas and sweet corn because that will add the protein element. I'll show you again when it gets going. It's seven o'clock, so that means Paul should be home about eight. I'm using a little bit of olive oil and I'm just gonna warm everything through and get it sort of hot. I'm not frying it and I'm certainly not, let me turn the heat down a bit, I'm certainly not sweating the onions down and all of that. I mean, this is, I mean, look how I've chopped everything. Sorry. Look how I've chopped everything. It's really, really rough and big and chunky. I've also included the leaves from the celery as well. I never get rid of the leaves. This is a hearty veggie stew. I mean, I guess you could call it a, a root vegetable stew. I'm going to be adding loads of black pepper as well to really give it a good flavour. I'll probably add a tin of tomatoes too. I just really want to get these going. I'm not aiming to get any colour on them, but if you do, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to start adding the root vegetables. Just going to throw them in. Oh yeah. This is a vegetable stew. Notice I'm not using any potatoes, because we haven't got any. If we did have some, I'd probably throw a few in. I'm going to turn the heat down. Okay, let me get my stock prepared. You will have to excuse the messy kitchen. And the cupboards aren't particularly tidy either. I'm using this bouillon powder and I'm using some yeast extract, fake marmite. And I'm gonna do a litre of stock. So that's gonna be four teaspoons of this into the jug and a teaspoon of this and then plenty of black pepper. Okay, so there's my stock made. Let's bung that in. Spilling it everywhere. Give it a swirl, make sure we've got all the little bits. And then you can see that that just about covers the veggies. Now, if you want to add a tin of tomatoes at this stage, you can. That's what I'm going to be doing, I think, if we've got a tin of tomatoes. Or you can just leave it like that if you wanted to. There should be all the flavour from the stock should be enough to season it beautifully. I'm going to bring the heat up because we do need to bring it to the boil. And then what I'm going to do is, am I going to add tomatoes or not? You know, I might not add tomatoes this time. I'll see. I'll see. It's 
So I'm going to let that cook for 40 minutes on a low simmer. And then when the 40 minutes are up, I'm going to add all these frozen bits and cook them down for another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. So we're going to come back and have a look at this later. I just wanted to add, I'm putting the lid on, but I'm leaving it slightly ajar so it doesn't boil over. It shouldn't do. I'm just waiting for it to come to the boil first. Lovely. So that's everything tidied up, all the peelings cleaned, put in the peely bin there. Got my frozen veg ready. I've just had a little tidy round. Well, a small tidy round. Let me turn you around. I'm sorry that wasn't as professional as our usual cooking videos, but it's just me, just me, cooking dinner. That's it, time for a little sit down now and wait. In fact, I'll better set a timer. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. And then what I'll do is I'll check me veggies after 20 minutes, see how they're doing. And they should be starting to cook. Carrots, when they're big and chunky like that, can take an awful long time. They can. And the longer that a stew cooks for, the better. I mean, there's loads of options at this stage with this stew. Last week, I added a tin of kidney beans in chilli sauce, which gave it a sort of warm flavour. And I topped the dish with vegetarian meatballs. Um... And I also added a tin of tomatoes. So, I mean, you could add vegetarian mince, you could add corn. Um, I don't think we need that much protein today. I had protein at lunchtime. Paul's bound to have had protein as well. So I think the beans will be enough. Um, I'll check the seasoning as well when that timer goes, make sure it's tasting good. Um, and also, I don't tend to thicken the longer you cook vegetables down and the, the wider the variety of vegetables that you've put in, the more chance that it will naturally start to thicken. Some people add a little uh, flour and water paste, which can be used to thicken. And then you cook it out for, you know, five or ten minutes. I don't tend to do that. I don't mind um, things that have a liquor that's produced from the vegetables and obviously the stock. If it's tasty, I don't mind. I'll eat it like a soup. Um, but yeah, this is a stew. It's a traditional type of stew. My mum taught me how to make a stew very, very early on. And of course, in those days, it would be with meat and vegetables. So you'd fry your meat off first. And she would always thicken it at the end to make it into a thicker gravy. Um, I sometimes do that, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have a sit down now and I'll take you back to see what the results are. Yeah. My time has just gone off, so I'm going to go into the kitchen and check the veggies. You can hear them boiling away. Let's put some light on. There we are. Okay, let's swing you round. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, steamy. Let's have a little feel with the spoon. What time is it? It's quarter to eight. So I think what I'm gonna do so I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. Put the lid back on. Leave them for another 10 minutes before I put my beans and peas in. So I've turned the heat up now and I've added my frozen veg. I think I might add some chilli beans, actually. 
might get a tin of chili beans just to give the flavor a bit of a pep. But it's looking good. So if anybody's wondering what chili beans are, they're basically kidney beans in a chili sauce. So it adds a real sort of pep to it. And of course, a bit of extra protein. I'll stir those in well. And also it kind of, I guess, adds to the thickness of the dish. So I'm just gonna let that cook down until Paul gets in and then I'll test the veggies and then we can eat. There you go, that's this evening's dinner, sorted. So there we are, two gorgeous plates of root vegetable stew. Mm. There we are. Time to eat now, Paul. Mm. So what's it like, Paul? It's very nice. Is it as good as the one I did last week? Yeah. Good. You make a good vegetable. I know. So we're settling down in the front room. I know we're complete slobs. And we're watching Rosemary and Time. Can't see it. Anyway, that's it for today. Bye for now. Oh, look, it's tea and biscuits. I wonder why. Tea and biscuits. I've been for a blood test. Okay. And everybody knows that when you've had a blood test, you've got to replace the blood with tea, biscuits and chocolate. <laughs> no, that's when you give blood, isn't it? Well, I have given blood a substantial amount for testing. <sighs> I'm joking. I know I have actually been for a blood test. Evidence. Oh. Tiny little plaster. Really, she could have put a bandage on it. No, in all seriousness, nothing to worry about. Just a routine blood test, checking my cholesterol. It's Thursday morning. Oh, the tripod just dropped. <laughs> it's Thursday morning, as I was just saying. Um, I'm off, as you know. So I planned this blood test a while back. And I mean, I didn't take the day off because I was having a blood test, but um, it's part of my medication review because I'm on a beta blocker, which is actually to regulate my heartbeat because I have a what's called an ectopic heartbeat, which means I have sort of extra sort of not extra, but beats that are stronger and that you occasionally feel. And that can can be dangerous because it can lead to atrial fibrillation which it has done in the past only on a couple of occasions um so i take that and it helps to to keep things regular it's kind of just a very low dose um, but they obviously have to monitor it and they haven't monitored it for a number of years actually because of the pandemic and when i had the meds review which was on the phone uh, she said, oh, we've not checked your cholesterol for a while because it was high a few years ago. So would you have a blood test? I said, yeah, sure, no problem. So I booked it in and it just happened to coincide with my day off. So I'm having biscuits and tea to replace the lost energy. Anywho. What was I going to say? Yeah, so I went to the surgery. My appointment was nine o'clock. Oh my God, I'm so not used to being in the thick of things at that time of day. So where we live um, is sort of really set back from the, what's called the town centre. It's more like a village, really, um, of Hanwell, Hanwell Town. And we're, we're really sort of away from the hustle and bustle and the, the big main roads, Um so in order to go to the GP surgery, the health centre, I have to walk into Hanwell, cross the Uxbridge Road, which is the main artery, which runs all the way from Shepherd's Bush in what I guess is classed as central London. It's not really, but it's sort of more inner city than we are. And it goes all the way to Uxbridge. 
it's a main artery route. It's a main road. And oh, goodness me, talk about busy. Talk about an assault on the senses when you're not used to it. You know, God, people everywhere. Woo. So that was a bit of a, you know, God, get me in there and get me sorted and done. Um, and it was all very fine. Um, you know, they're very good now at taking blood tests. Didn't really feel anything. I don't look because I don't really like it. I don't get off on watching my blood go into a little bottle. No. Um, so I'll have the results in a week and I don't know whether they're testing for anything else. They didn't tell me they were doing a full blood test. Um, I mean, that's always the worry, isn't it? <laughs> you know, they'll test you and find something that they're not happy with, blah, blah, blah. They never seem to do anything about it. Anyway, they'll probably say your cholesterol's too high, you need to take statins or something. But I don't want to take statins, thank you. I was on another drug. I was on omeprazole for gastritis, which is inflammation of the stomach lining. But I weaned myself off that during the pandemic because with me not drinking really at all, the odd glass of red or white, maybe once a month, I think back in the day, the amount of wine that we were drinking <clears throat> per week was much higher. And I think that was causing it. Plus, I was a smoker as well. So I think that was contributing to potentially excess acid and, and inflammation. So I weaned myself off and I told them at the meds review, I said I was on omeprazole. I, I, you know, I reduced the dose over two weeks and weaned myself off with no ill effects at all. And I don't have any signs of gastritis at all. Now, it was a very definite pain that I used to feel in a, a very specific area, um, which is identified usually as some kind of gastric issue. And I don't have that at all. So yeah, I just did it myself. Not advisable. Always seek advice from your doctor before discontinuing any kind of drug. I didn't, but I don't know why. I can't explain why I knew it was okay to do. I wouldn't do that with my bisoprolol because that's potentially life-threatening. Um, yeah, there you go. So, today... Today, freedom. What am I going to do? Mainly chores, I think. And editing this, putting this together, making sure I've got it all ready for the weekend when I release it. Um, obviously, there's going to be a couple more days to be added. Um, potentially, if I can get myself going and get the chores done, <coughs> frog in my throat today. I need tea and biscuits. Um, potentially, if I get the chores done, I could put some time aside to do a little bit of music. Paul is out all day again in Cranley with Vanessa at For Earth's Sake. They're preparing the new shop. Um, Paul is helping with the satellite shops as well. Um, so, yeah, he won't be home till probably about eight. We've got leftover stew from last night. Yum. It was gorgeous. So I could add a little bit more to that, maybe add some meatballs, cook that up and serve that. So I haven't got any cooking to do other than preparing my own lunch. Yeah. So I might do some music. Mm carry on working on that piece that I was working on weeks and weeks and weeks ago in the distant past. But I'm so glad to be off. I'm so glad. Not that it's been terribly taxing and problematic. You know, work is busy. 
but I don't necessarily regard it as highly stressful, although I'm not sure I'm good at recognising my own stresses. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not saying that's a revelation. I think it's always been that way. I think I've always worked quite hard at things, whatever I've been doing, and never really acknowledged that I do get stressed out. Anywho, that's another video. <sighs> so I'll see you later as my day progresses. Bye for now. Good afternoon. I know you're all wondering, why is he sat in the dark? But I just wanted to share this moment with you. It's about, I think it's coming up to half five. It's been an incredibly wet, wet afternoon. Well, the day's been wet, in fact. But I'm sort of done with all my jobs around the house. Everywhere is tidy and fairly clean. I've got a few things to do, a few things to put away, some recycling to put out. And the light is failing and it's pretty dim. But it's one of my favourite times of day. The half light. I guess it would be a lot brighter if the skies were clear and the sun was setting, we'd have a bit of sun in here. But I don't know, there's something about sitting here in the, in the dusky light that I just really like. And it's still fairly calm out there. People aren't coming back from work properly. It'll get very busy in the next hour or so. People walking home from work from the bus stop, from the station, people driving home. But at the moment, it's really quiet. And I just, I really love it when all my chores are done. I mean, I've done a lot today. I'm not going to list everything that I've done, but I've done a lot. But it's almost like doing the chores is a, it's like a meditation. There's a few people walking down the road now. It's like a meditation because that's all you're thinking about, and what you're doing. Whether it's cleaning the bathrooms, whether it's putting clothes away, putting washing out. I have a routine and a rhythm and I know exactly what I'm doing. And then to sit down in this sort of dim light and just watch the world go by, I don't know, it's a pleasure. It's a strange pleasure, but there's something about it that I enjoy. And there's a calmness to it. But I'm feeling satisfied with my day's work. And it's a good feeling. I just thought I'd share this, this moment with you. I'm going to put all the lights on in a minute and totally change the moment. Paul will be on his way home soon. And I'll be turning leftover stew into something delicious with some vegetarian meatballs, I think. That's my plan. There's plenty of gravy, so I may add... I don't know, a tin of beans to it or some more frozen veg. Um, yeah, just to bulk it out and get another good meal out of it. Yeah, that's the plan. So there's very, very little to do now. It would be great to think that we could go out tomorrow, but I've got a feeling it's going to be wet again. There's absolutely no way I could have gone out today. It was really bucketing down at one point. And I've noticed the temperatures dropped as well. Um, I've got towels drying at the top of the house. And uh, I noticed that the windows were starting to steam up, which means the temperature has, has dropped. 
I think it's about nine degrees outside. Um, it's not been bad, not been too bad indoors today because I've been doing things, so I've not felt the cool temperatures. Um, but I will be changing shortly into something more comfortable, more comfortable for the evening. I suppose I better put some lights on. Alexa, front room on. That's better, you can see me now. Ah, I do feel very relaxed and I'm really pleased with having the day. I know it sounds crazy, but that day to do the housework in a relaxed state, just getting on with stuff, having a break when I want a break, um, stopping for lunch, watching a bit of telly, which I did with my lunch, and then just cracking on at my own pace without having to cram everything into one day. It, it's so much better for me. And I have a sense of accomplishment rather than thinking, oh God, I've got to do everything today and get it all done quickly. You know, it's, I, I hate it. I hate being rushed with anything unless I'm at work, which means it's the name of the game. You've just got to fit everything in at work. But at home, it's, um, it, it's nice to do things at your own pace. And I have. So hurrah. So thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. Good morning. It's Friday morning and it's an atrocious morning weather-wise. It really is. It's absolutely vile out there. It's been raining on and off since we woke up. Um, and when I woke up, it was like a squall, windy, rain clattering against the windows, vile. And I think it's going to be like that on and off all day. So it's another day indoors. I've done everything apart from catching up on some washing. I need to do jeans and jumpers today. I do them on a quick wash because... You know, they don't get dirty. When I say quick wash, it's about an hour on 40. But of course, yesterday I did quite a lot of washing. I did a couple of 60 degree washes. So that's mostly dry now. I've just put the towels away. So pulls upstairs on the computer doing stuff. Oh, it's cold, 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 cold. I don't think we'll be going out today. I really don't think that it's conducive. Oh, sorry. I don't think it's conducive to uh, walking or going really anywhere. It's vile. It's like winter. It's like midwinter again. Super. Let's have a quick look outside. You can see the big blossom trees starting to come out. That's going to be absolutely glorious. The little pink one over here is sort of fully out. And here the Forsythia is just starting to flower. So I like this time of year in terms of the blossoms. But as you can see, it's very grey, very overcast pretty breezy and yeah it is raining at the moment you can't quite see it on video but there we are anywho I'll see you later so the sun has come out and there's a little bit of a rainbow just a little bit
Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Wow, it's been cold and wet. It's brightened up a little bit now. And I don't think it's raining at the moment, but it was bucketing down. Absolutely bucketing down. And it's cold. Ah, uh, yeah. Not pleasant at all. So much for March being the month of spring. I saw on the news that the National Trust, I think it was the National Trust, are saying that things are out a month early. You know, blossoms, things like that, spring flowers. A month early. And I have to admit that the big blossom tree in the back garden, I I don't remember that being out this early. It's not fully out. It'll be out, I guess, in a, a week or so, maybe less. Yeah, I think it is early. The magnolia over the road in our neighbour's front yard, that is blossoming now. And that seems early to me for magnolia. But yeah, I'm just wondering whether things will get stunted you know, stopped in their tracks because it's so cold now. I mean, they say it's going to be frosty tonight and very cold. So, so what have I been doing this morning? Well, not very much, actually. I've had a relaxed morning. Paul is currently doing some preparation for another Instant Pot video, which we're just about to film. Um, Sunday chat we did yesterday, so that's ready for release tonight at midnight, as usual. And I need to do some editing on this, finish it off, and get this out for six o'clock, as usual. Um, we're going over to a friend's for dinner tonight, which is going to be nice for a bit of a change. I need to have a bath this afternoon. So, yeah. Fairly relaxed day, which leaves tomorrow to do the bed in the morning and a few bits and pieces. Yeah. So we've got plans next weekend. We are out and about doing stuff. So Sunday chat is going to be late. It's going to be Monday next weekend. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to have a chance to get the daily vlogs done next weekend because we're just too busy with stuff that we arranged a while back. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll let you know whether I'll be able to get it out for Saturday. It might be late. It might be Sunday. Yeah, I'm juggling, juggling with stuff. So yeah, that's it for this week's daily vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this sort of extended version. And I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.